When we buy a printable digital, it may come in JPEG, PDF format, or both. Depending on the project we are working on, we might want to print it larger or smaller than the original size. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am Schultz. In this video, I will show how to print PDF digital printable larger or smaller without another program and the JPEG print options as well as the tips to print your digital without border. Before I continue, I need to let you know that I am using a Windows computer. So the interface you are seeing here will be different from Macbook, iMac, or other Apple products. This is the print interface of PDF. Here you can see the printing options, size, poster, multiple, and booklet. And each option has its own setting. I am not going to show all of them. I will just show the ones that might be useful for us paper crafters. Also, note that the orientation of paper does matter. Selecting wrong paper orientation might cause your file to be cropped. I highly suggest using auto orientation when the option is available. Fit will automatically enlarge or shrink your original file to fit the most of your printer paper. In this screenshot, the original file size is 8.5 by 5.5 inches. The image will be scaled up to fit 8.5 by 11 inches paper. The orientation of the paper affects the final size you will get. Notice that there is no scaling when I set the orientation to portrait. The landscape orientation gives me the same results as auto. When the original file is larger than your printer paper, Fit will shrink it to fit the printer paper. The original file in this screenshot is 8.5 by 14 inches. The image is scaled down to fit my paper. Again, orientation matters. Notice that the original file is scaled smaller in landscape than auto or portrait. Actual size. As the name implies, this print option will print the actual size of the file. If the original file is smaller than your printer paper, it will print the file on the center of your printer paper. When your original file is larger than your printer paper, actual size will print a portion of it. String oversized pages won't take any effect when the original file size is the same or smaller than the printer paper size. When the original file is larger, it will be scaled down automatically to fit the printer paper, which in this case yield the same result as the fit option. Just like the fit option, different orientation yields different scaling. And that's why I suggest to use fit and forget about this string oversized pages. Use custom scale to print the image on your desired size. You need to do the math if you want precise size. Please note that this custom scale won't let you pick which part of the image you want to print larger. Again, the orientation of the paper will make a difference in printing results. If you have multiple pages like A4 or US Letter Digital Kit, but you want it in a smaller size, use the multiple option. While you cannot directly control the final size, you can control the approximate size you want using the Pages Per Sheet option. This option prints by scale. Notice, though I set the print two pages in a sheet, it won't print 50% of the original size. Change the orientation of paper to get the most of your scale down print. Adjusting orientation properly will give you the most out of a sheet of paper. Notice the pages look smaller in the landscape orientation compared to the portrait orientation. I had compiled this PDF print option tutorial into a PDF file. You can find the link to the file in the description box. Spike printing options are very straightforward compared to PDF. It will automatically resize your image to the print size you choose. These options here show you all the available printing size options. 
If you check the fit picture to frame, it will adjust your image further to fit the print size. In this screenshot, my original file size is 8.5 by 14 inches. When I print it in full page photo letter size, it will leave empty spaces on the top and bottom of the image. With the fit picture to frame check, the image will be enlarged to fill all the letter size paper. Because the original file is larger than letter size, the image will be cropped. Just like PDF, you cannot choose which area of the oversized image to be printed. Again, notice the grid area above and below the images in this print size without the fit picture to frame check. When the checkbox is checked, the images are enlarged to fit the 5 by 7 inches print size selected. To print without borders, go to your printer settings. In the Windows search bar, type Printers and Scanner. Click the Printers and Scanner system settings. In the pop-up window, click on your printers. Click on the Printing Preferences. Select the Borderless checkbox and click OK on the pop-up warning window. To adjust the enlargement method, click the settings. I use auto expand and minimum enlargement. This setting gives me the full sheet print result without any cropping. What I see on the computer is what I get. Each printer and computer is different, so play with this setting to get the best result. I hope this short tutorial helps you get the most of your digital. Feel free to download my freebie printables on my coffee page. You can find the link in the description box. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment or drop me a message in any of my social media. Happy crafting! Bye!